Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna discuss minimum window substring problem, which is we have to find the smallest window in a string containing all characters of another string. Consider the given example. Main string S is A, C, B, D, N, R, A, C, B, and N. And the pattern string T is A, B, N. As there are different windows in S containing pattern T, we need to find the one with minimum size. So in the given example, the different windows containing pattern T will be this one. The window size of this is 5. It can also be this one. The window size of this is also 5. And it can be this one as well, which contains A, B, and N. The window size of this is also 5. And this one, the window size of this is 4. So from all these different windows, we need to find the one with the minimum size. Let's look at the gist of the solution, how we can find it out. To do it efficiently in linear time, we need to use sliding window technique. We'll use few variables to make note of windows which we'll find while traversing the string. i and j are the variables which will always give the minimum window possible. i and j will point to index 0 initially. L and R will denote every window we find which contains the pattern in the main string. L and R will also point to index 0 initially. Let's understand the gist of solution, like how we can move or slide the window across the string S. Variable R will increment till it reaches the end of the string. Now when it reaches index 5, it has covered all characters present in pattern T. Here we can assign this window to the answer. So this window will hold all the characters present in the pattern, which is A, B and N. And we can consider this as one of the answer. Now after finding this window, we'll see whether we can shrink this window from the left side and still have the final answer or not. So if we we'll shrink this window that we have just found from the left and left hand side, it will start from index 1 till index 4. Now in this current window, we have characters B and N but not A. So what we have to do now is we'll slide the right pointer of this window towards right. Now the window has been increased from index 1 to index 5. Now this window again does not cover all the characters of uh, pattern T. So again we'll shift the right pointer of the window towards right. So now next window will become this one from index 1 to index 6. Now this window covers the characters present in the pattern which is B, N and A. Now if we have found such a window, now we'll see whether we can shrink this window from the left hand side. So as we can see this C has no requirement means the C is not present in the pattern which we are looking for so we can shrink it from the left hand side. So now the window will become this one from index 2 to index 6. So if we see the size of this window it's still 5 which is the same as we have found earlier so we won't change our answer. Now we'll again shrink our window from left hand side. Now the window will become this one from index 3 to index 6. But this window contains only character N and A of the given pattern T. Now to get the, the missing character will shift the right pointer of the window towards right. So now our window will become this one from index 3 to index 7. This window also contains only N and A. So again what we do is we'll shift our right pointer of the window towards right. So now our window will become this one from index 3 to index 8. So now this window has the characters which are present in the pattern T which is this N, A and B and now we'll see whether we can shrink this window from the left hand side. So as we can see there is D present at the left end. We can shrink it because D is not present in the pattern that we are looking for. So our uh, window will get updated to this one from index 4 to index 8. So now we have found this window that is sh a shrinked window but the size of this window is still Still again 5 so we won't update our answer. Now again we'll shrink our window from the left hand side so now our window will become this one from index 5 to index 8. Now in this window we have A and B but not 
n so we are missing one character from the pattern so what we'll do now is we'll increase the right pointer of the window and we'll move it towards right so our window will become this one which is from index 5 to index 9 so now our this window holds character a character b and n all the three characters present in the pattern so now we'll see whether we can shrink this window from the left hand side so as the left end pointer is pointing to index 5 which is which contains the element r which is not present in the pattern that we need so we'll shrink the window from the left hand side and our current window will now become this one from index 6 till index 9 so now the size of this new window is 4 which is less than what we have found earlier so we'll update our answer so now our answer will hold i as index 6 and j as index 9 and we can easily print the character present in these indices so this is the gist of the solution and this is how we are going to find the minimum substring window next let's look at the code and how we can achieve this uh, solution in terms of code and later then we'll dry run this code on the given example so here is the code at the left side need is a map which will hold the map of a character with its count so need will hold the count of the character mapping for the pattern t for example if our pattern is a b and n then need will be a hash map or dictionary where a is a key and its value will be its count one and if b is the key its value will be its count and n will be the key its value will be the count at the start of the problem if our given instructions are just to consider only the ascii characters then for the rest of the ascii characters that need will put zero so if we have suppose d f g for all of them it will put zero so this code here which is collections dot counter in python will give us this mapping and next variables that have initialized are l r i n j which i've already discussed what this signifies l and r will show the current window that we are working on and i and j will hold the minimum window substring and missing here will help us find whether we have completed the pattern string in a particular window we are looking for so suppose if this is our window that we have uh, currently working on then missing will become zero because then we have encountered a as well as b as well as n so initially just to take a note of that that we haven't encountered any of them missing will hold uh, the length of the pattern which is three in this while loop r will move till the end of the given array which is this and here we have uh, two section of the code this first section will move the right pointer of the window towards right side and this part of the code where in the previous explanation when we are trying to shrink the left pointer of the window towards the right size as as much as we can so this code will move the right pointer and this code will move the or will try to shrink the left pointer so let's see how this will work on the given example so as r is pointing to index 0 so initially we had a need where we know that a was mapped to its count 1 b was mapped to its count 1 and n was mapped to its count 1 so now in this while loop it will check if need of that character which r is pointing to is greater than 0 so first one is a which r is pointing to so need of a which is this one obviously is greater than 0 so what it will do is it will reduce the missing count by 1 so missing now will be 2 and now we need to uh, reduce the count of that character as well so now we need a count no we need b count yes we need n yes so this means the length of uh, string which we need is 2 and the count of those uh, characters that we required is uh, b1 and n1 so this is happening in the first iteration and here we'll increment the r as well so now r will point to c so in this while condition it will check whether missing is equals to zero which is not so it won't go here now it will again go to the start of this while loop now it will again check if a uh, need of s of r is greater than zero so here r is pointing to character c so need of c which is zero initially so it is not greater than zero so it won't change the missing variable and need of that will be uh, minus one so our need and missing remains the same as this and will increment r so now r will point to uh, character b so now it will again check if need is greater than zero or not so s of r is b so need of b is there in need and it is greater than zero so missing will now become one and our need will get updated now we don't need a a is zero b we have found zero now we need n n count is one now r will increment to d as still missing is not equals to zero so it won't go in this while condition it will again go to the start of this 
this uh, while loop so now it has found d so it won't change our uh, missing and need as d is not the count of the d character is not greater than zero that means we don't require a d in our uh, pattern that we are looking for so it will just increase our pointer now r is pointing to n and now as missing is not equals to zero we'll go to the start of the while now missing will become zero because the need of n that means this one is greater than zero that means we have found n now missing will become zero and need will become a zero b zero and n zero and we'll increment our r now r will point to five so now missing is zero and need is looking like this a zero b zero n zero which means that we have found a window where we have found the characters that we were looking for that means we have found a we have found b and we have found n all the characters in the pattern so this is our one of that window so now uh, we'll try to see whether can we shrink this uh, current window from the left hand side so that we can get the minimum size window so which we gonna do in this while condition so as missing is zero it will uh, move inside this while condition now this if condition will execute which is checking whether j is equal to zero that means we have only found a single window and because of this it will go inside this if condition and it will make i and j point to l and r so now i and l are pointing to the same index 0 and j will point to r now it will execute this next condition so in now this condition it will try to shrink the window from the left hand side and we'll see whether that shrinking will affect the window that we have found so what it has done is it has changed the need so as s of l is a so need of a will be one so if we have moved or shifted our window from the left hand side by one count of one now our need has been changed because if we have moved it towards right or that left pointer was holding a now as we have moved it so a's count will become one b will remain zero and n will remain zero so now in the if condition it will check whether need of a is greater than zero so as it is greater than zero it will increase the missing count the missing will become one it will increment l as well so now l will be pointing to character c so now is missing still equals to zero no so missing is one so it will come out of this while condition so now we'll try to move the window from the right hand side so now this if condition will execute it will check if need of s of r which is r is greater than zero which is not so missing will not change and need will also remain same just that r will be added here and it will be reduced to one so now r will move to the next pointer so now r is pointing to a so missing is equal to zero not which because missing is one now it will move to the start of this while condition it will check if need of s of r is greater than zero so a so as need of a is greater than zero so that means we have found a so missing length will be reduced by one and it is zero and need will also be updated to a zero b zero and n zero and r will be incremented now r will point to character c that means it has found another window which will be this one where b is there n is there and a is there so now the missing is zero right so it will go to this while condition which means that it has found a window where all these characters exist now we just have to see whether we can shrink this window from this left side so if we'll go inside this uh, while code so now is j is equals to zero obviously not because j is pointing to this r and r minus l is less than j minus i so if we do r minus l which is 7 minus 1 6 is less than j minus i uh, j is 5 and i is 0 5 minus 0 is 5 which is not so uh, it won't update the i and j so, but now need will become as it was c we had c as minus 1 somewhere so what it would do is it will increase its count now c would become 0 and is need of uh, that uh, c is greater than zero no so missing won't change and increment l so now l will point to index two that means we have reduced it by one from the left side now our window will become like this one so now we'll see whether this is our minimum window or not now is missing is still zero it will follow this if condition it will check r minus l is less than j minus i so r minus l is seven minus two five and j minus i is five minus zero it's still the same it's also five so we have found those two windows of the same size so we won't change our i and j but 
this time when we'll try to shrink the window from the left hand side this was b now b the need of b will increment by one so we need one because we have moved towards the right hand side from this left pointer so now the b will become one and need of b is greater than zero so missing will increment by one so we'll increase our l by one as well so l will point to this one so it will come out of the loop as missing is one so it will reach to this uh, parent while loop so like this we'll keep doing it we will eventually find a window of the minimum size which holds all the characters in the pattern which is this one so this is how we're gonna find the minimum substring window thanks